your teacher Lisa. I hope you are having a good day and are looking forward to today's lesson. I'm your teacher Austin. Good to have you back with us. Austin, before we move on to today's lesson, would you please give a, a brief review about what we learned in the last chapter? We saw the skits that taught us about being a sales clerk. We learned how to offer assistance with phrases such as, can I be of assistance? How can I help you? If you need any help with anything, please let me know. We also learned how to request assistance with phrases such as, can you do me a favor? Do me a favor, will you? Thank you. Today we are going to learn another profession, being a secretary. Let's take a look at chapter focus. Today's chapter focus has two parts. The first is to learn how to make a request. The second is to learn how to respond to a request. In the first conversation, you'll see Mr. Smith call his secretary, Christina, in and talk over his agenda. Talk over is the same as a talk about? Yes, like discuss. What is the differences uh, between agenda and schedule? A schedule is a plan of activities or events and when they will happen. For example, a list that shows when buses or trains will arrive and leave. I see. An agenda? An agenda is a list of topics or items to be discussed at a meeting. So in the business setting, more likely we use the agenda more, right? Both are useful. A secretary often helps their boss to go through a meeting agenda or that morning's agenda. Secretaries often handle their boss's schedule as well. Thank you. Uh, 刚刚Austin老师在我们的谈话当中提了几个,一个是schedule,一个是agenda. Uh, 我说是不是在business uh, world里头比较常用agenda。他说其实在secretary job里头,秘书的工作常常也是需要帮助老板定一个schedule的约会。所以不一定是agenda,那当然agenda就是一个开会的议题的讨论哦,这个叫agenda。那好,现在我们就来看conversation uh, one,Christine走进Smith先生的办公室跟他讨论今天的行程。待会你会注意到talk over, go through, schedule, and agenda这几个生字。好,let's watch our first conversation. Christina, could you come into the office for a minute, please? Please shut the door and have a seat. Let's go through today's agenda. First, you have two appointments. Uh, one with Mr. Jackson at 11, and another this afternoon at 3 with a representative from the Talesman Company. Where do we schedule that meeting with Mr. Jackson? He's coming here to meet you. I think it might be more comfortable for us to meet at the coffee shop downstairs. Would you mind calling him and changing our meeting place? I'll do that. Mr. Smith, during your afternoon meeting with the Talesman representative, remember to fill him in on the decision made in the Malaysian conferences. Would you mind bringing me a copy of the minutes of that conference? I get it right now. While you're at it, could I request a cup of latte? Okay, be back in a minute. Okay, students, welcome back. Uh, we're going to take a closer look at a few key words and phrases. Okay, the first key phrase is a talk over, 讨论。讨论,英文是什么意思呢? Talk over. To discuss a problem or a plan. Talk over, Let's talk over the arrangement with our group before we make a decision. Let's talk over the arrangement with our group before we make a decision. Let's 
shut. To close something, for example, a door, window, or drawer. 是的 ，shut 就是关，可以是关门、关窗或关抽屉。Now, example. Please shut the door behind you. Please shut the door behind you. 请将门带上。Go through. Go through. Go through. To discuss, study, or review something in detail. Go through 就是讨论、研究或重新仔细的检视某事。Do you want me to go through the details of this plan? Do you want me to go through the details of this plan? 你需要我检阅这份计划书里的细节吗？下一个生字叫 schedule. Schedule, 定定时间。Schedule, to plan for something to happen at a particular time. 意思就是预定事情会在特定的时间发生。Let's schedule another meeting next week. Let's schedule another meeting next week. 那么就暂定下礼拜举行的另一次的会议。Fill somebody in. 动词片语，向某人说明。Fill somebody in. To give someone details about something. 是的，就是告知某人某事的细节。My secretary will fill you in on the details. My secretary will fill you in on the detail. 我的秘书会告诉你更多的细节。Mr. Smith is asking for a lot of things, isn't he? He is the boss. He is asking for his secretary to make appointments, reschedule appointments, send express mail, and more. He wants a latte as well. How can a secretary respond? Um, well, maybe when you respond to your boss, you could say something like, "You've got it." Okay, right. A very common way to respond to people's request, "You've got it," especially is a secretary to a boss. 当一个秘书对老板的呃、uh, 要求。What can you say? You 会说 You've got it. 你要你要的我做到了哈。好，接下去我们再看第二个 conversation two 的时候，我们会注意有 express mail 快捷的邮件，还有 You've got it. 好，现在我们就来 watch the skit two. Here's the copy of the minutes you requested. I wish I could bring you a latte, but the coffee machine is not working this morning. Could I bring you something else? Don't worry about it. Aside from the two meetings, what else is on the schedule today? After work, you have an appointment with your dentist. Thanks for reminding me. Please call Mr. Robinson and schedule an appointment with him tomorrow morning. I'm afraid tomorrow morning is not open. You have already scheduled another appointment at that time. Okay, and then change my appointment with Mr. Robinson to the afternoon. You've got it. Could you send this document out by express mail by noon? Certainly. Anything else? Any possibility you know what this is saying? I'm sorry, but this is not possible. I didn't take Spanish in college. That's okay. I'll ask someone else. Okay. After watching、uh, conversation two, we have、uh, two very、uh, useful phrases we want to teach you. Okay. The first one is "You've got it." Expression way, 就是说你做到了 You've got it. Used to tell someone that something will be done. 对 You've got it. 就是告诉某人某事将完成我们来看例句。Person A might ask, "Please book my return ticket for the first day of May." Okay, you've got it. Okay, 好像是一个老板说的话哈。啊、uh, ，他说 "Please book my return return ticket for the first day of May." 帮我订五月一号回程的票。那么秘书就会说 "You've got it." 没问题。好，下一个生字是 express mail。快捷邮件，我们看它的解释是 ：Express mail, 
a service that delivers mail or packages more quickly. 是的，快捷邮件通常呢就是比较快速的递送邮件跟包裹。好，例句。This package needs to be sent by express mail. This package needs to be sent by express mail. 这个包裹得用快递的方式寄出去。We discussed the differences between schedule and agenda. I have another question: When do we need an agenda? An agenda is a list of business or items to be discussed at a meeting. So, before you call a meeting, create an agenda. It's professional to be prepared when you request other people to meet with you. 谢谢，我老师问啊，阿斯顿老师。什么时候我们需要给人家 agenda？ 就 agenda 就是只要开会的议程，还有开会的议题的一个 list。这样子给人家要来参加会议的人是比较 professional 的。Okay, before we conduct a meeting, we need to list all our list out all items being discussed in a in an agenda, right? Hmm. Let me give another example. There are several important points on the agenda. Okay, 议程中有许多重要的事项需要讨论。Well, other than agenda, ah,、uh, I have another question. What else we needed in a formal meeting? Minutes. It is an official written record of what is discussed at a formal meeting. Okay, 除了 agenda 之外，在正式的会议中还需要什么呢？会议记录。正式的会议里头所讨论的过程中的正式的记录。As an example, before we begin our discussion, shall we hear the minutes of the last meeting? Okay, before we begin our discussion, shall we hear the minutes of the last meeting? 在我们开始讨论开会之前，可否先听一下上次的开开会记录 ？Okay, how do we use Why you are at it? I heard this phrase a lot.、Mm. This phrase is used for telling someone to do something extra while they are already doing something else. Okay, 我常常听到人家用 why you are at it 什么意思呢？他说就是告知某人，当他正在做什么事的时候，顺便在做另外一件事。我们来看例句，来帮助你了解怎么使用它。As an example. Would you go to my office and get my daily planner? While you are at it, pick up my mail. Would you go to my office and get my daily planner? While you are at it, pick up my mail. 哎，你方便到我的办公室帮我拿我的行事历吗？然后呢，顺便帮我收信。As another example, person A might say, "I'm going to clean my room." And person B say, "Well, you can clean mine too while you are at it." OK， 刚刚我们的啊啊、呃呃、这个对话就是这个人说我已经在打扫房间了。他说既然你打扫房间，你就顺便打扫我的吧。这就是 Why you are at it 的用法。现在我们来看 Conversation One and Two。Christina， could you come into the office for a minute, please? Please shut the door and have a seat. Let's go through today's agenda. First, you have two appointments,、uh, one with Mr. Jackson at eleven, and another this afternoon at three with the representative from the Talisman Company. Where do we schedule that meeting with Mr. Jackson? He's coming here to meet you. I think it might be more comfortable for us to meet at the coffee shop downstairs. Would you mind calling him and changing our meeting place? I'll do that, Mr. Smith. During your afternoon meeting with the Talisman representative, remember to fill him in on the decision made in the Malaysian conferences. Would you mind bringing me a copy of the minutes of that conference? I get it right now. While you're at it, could I request a cup of latte? Okay, be back in a minute.
here's the copy of the minutes you requested. I wish I could bring you a latte, but the coffee machine is not working this morning. Could I bring you something else? Don't worry about it. Aside from the two meetings, what else is on the schedule today? After work, you have an appointment with your dentist. Thanks for reminding me. Please call Mr. Robinson and schedule an appointment with him tomorrow morning. I'm afraid tomorrow morning is not open. You have already scheduled another appointment at that time. Okay, and then change my appointment with Mr. Robinson to the afternoon. You've got it. Could you send this document out by express mail by noon? Certainly. Anything else? Any possibility you know what this is saying? I'm sorry, but this is not possible. I didn't take Spanish in college. That's okay. I'll ask someone else. Okay, welcome to Expressions. Okay, 今天我们要学习 making request. Okay, 有可能有有很多的表达方式，但 Lisa 老师跟 Austin 老师为你啊预备了这些。那待会我们来看 making request 有这些说法。我们请 Austin 老师给我们啊带我们来念。Can you help me with this? Can you help me with this? Could you please close the door? Could you please close the door? Proofread this for me, will you? Proof this for me, will you? Would it be possible to type this letter before you go home? Would it be possible to type this later before you go home? May I ask you to mail this for me on your way home? May I ask you to mail this for me on your way home? Would you mind calling Mr. Robinson? Would you mind calling Mr. Robinson? If I can make a request, I'd like to have a, a latte. Okay. If I can make a request, I like to have a cup of latte. May I please have a glass of water? May I please have a glass of water? 好的，同学们刚刚学到的就是啊啊，就是 making request， 就是啊、uh, 要求人家哈、啊、怎么样啊协助你，那都是很客气的用用法。那现在我们要来学习，那你怎么 respond？ OK， 可能在你同意。协助别人的情况下，有以下的说法，我们来看。Sure. Sure. 很简单。Sure. Certainly. Certainly. 当然的。Yes, I'd be glad to. Yes, I'd be glad to. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. You've got it. You've got it. No problem. No problem. I'll get right on it. I get right on it. 就是我马上就去做。刚刚你听到的都是 you are able to offer the help, and then you say say so you agree, and then you will do this, uh, uh, respond. Now what about you can do it? So what is the polite way to refuse? I'm sorry, but that's not possible. I'm sorry. But that's not possible. I won't be able to mail that tonight. I won't be able to mail that tonight because the post office will be closed by the time I can get there. Because the post office will be closed by the time I can get there. I'm afraid that's not possible because Mr. Robinson is presently out of town. I'm afraid that's not possible. Because Mr. Robinson is presently out of town. I wish I could make a latte for you, but the coffee machine is broken. I wish I could make a latte for you, but the coffee machine is broken. 各位同学，我很想要对刚刚 refused 这个啊部分啊再做一些说明啊，特别是 I wish I could 哈，这是一个非常好的表达法。当别人要求你做什么事，但是你没办法做，哈、啊、，I wish I could， 意思就是 I can't， OK， 而且它必须都是要用 could， I wish I could， but I can't， 
意思是这样子哈。那当然你也注意到，我们刚刚老师给你的例句都是从 I'm sorry, I'm afraid， 这个在我们前面的课程都有提过哈。好的，希望啊、uh, 这些啊啊、uh, uh, expressions 会对你有帮助。The language or the tone of voice you use for requesting can make a big difference. Some may sound very impolite, some sound polite, and some are very polite. 啊、uh, ，刚刚 Austin 老师说啊， uh, 语文呢啊， uh, 就是在啊、uh, 要求别人做什么事的时候，你的啊、uh, 用的字跟你的 tone， 就是说你的语调。非常的重要 ，make a big difference。有些会让人家觉得很没有礼貌，有人觉得有些还可以，有些是非常的有礼貌。那现在我们 maybe Austin can give us some example. For impolite, I want a coffee. I want a coffee. Give me a coffee. Give me a coffee. 这个呢是直接下指令的，是非常 impolite。我们看 polite way. Could I have a cup of coffee? Could I have a cup of coffee? May I have a cup of coffee, please? May I have a cup of coffee, please? 这个就是比较 polite。那接下去是特别客气的了。I wonder if I could have a cup of coffee, please. I wonder if I could have a cup of coffee, please. 同学，你注意到了，因为你的用字跟你的语调会让所有的。给人的感受不太一样，所以要特别小心。在 business world and or social contact， 你要小心哈，呃，要啊、呃，不要太粗鲁。呃，你更需更好是 indirect rather than direct。嗯， another difference is that with the impolite、uh, expressions， the person who's asking is expecting the person they are asking to to do these things without question. It's more of a command. Whereas when you are polite, you are giving the person you are asking a choice. It's up to them if they want to help you. Good. Ah,、uh, Austin 老师说，啊、uh, ，如果你是很 direct 的时候，给人感觉好像你命令对方做事。但是如果你 indirect， 你好像试试看别人愿不愿意帮助你。这时候给人的感觉是，好像对方有一个选择，要不要帮助你。谢谢 Austin。OK， 各位同学，我们马上来看 Q&A。Hi， I'm Michael。I'm Mavis。The word shut seems a little aggressive to use under regular circumstances， doesn't it？ Thanks for the question， Michael。The word "shut"、um, can be used for a couple different things. If you're talking about shutting a door or a cupboard or a closet, the word "shut" and the word "close" could both be used, and it's not really considered rude to use "shut." However, you might be thinking of a phrase like "shut,、uh, shut up," or "shut your mouth," which、mm -hmm. might be very, very rude to use in a business setting. I wouldn't use those if you're talking in a business setting or to、uh, a client or to your boss, especially. 是 ，OK。如果是只是单纯的 shut 这个字，它只是关门、关抽屉，没什么问题。也许 Michael， 你的意思是指 shut up，OK？、Okay, 那这样子就不好了哈。那个就是对客人，呃，说说，哎，你闭嘴，这样子就不好的一个感觉，不应该在 business setting 发生。我们赶快来看第二个题目。I have a question. When do we know to use can or may? Thanks for the question. When do we use can or may? Can is used for ability if someone is able to do something, while may is used if it is polite to ask to do something if you have permission. So if you are talking about an ability, you should use can. Can you、uh, speak English? Can you write with your left or right hand? Ability, you use the word can. With may, we use it when we are asking for permission. Although keep in mind, as we said last lesson, sometimes people use the word "can" in place of "may" to ask for permission. It's not the most polite or proper way to use it, but it's often used in modern English. 谢谢啊，这位同学，你问的哈啊，你说 Mavis 问说什么时候用 can， 什么时候用 may， 一样的，我们曾经啊上周吧哈，我们讨论到 can 是跟 ability 有关 ，may 通常是跟你的。
啊，请求别人的啊准许啊，所以这是用法不一样。我们先来再看下一个同学的问题。My next question is, should I be aware of different ways to write the date on a formal letter? Thanks for the question.、Um, the date can be written differently by people from different parts of the world. In the United States, the date is written. The way it is spoken. So, if you're using numbers and backslashes, the month goes first, and then the day, and then the year. This is very confusing to someone from Europe, for example, where they write down the numbers from smallest to largest. So, they would do the day, then the month, and the year. To avoid confusion, I would suggest writing out the date completely、um, with the words of the month. So, I would write out the word, for example, July or August, and then write the number. Good. 啊、uh, ，这个很重要。啊、uh, ，如果你写日期的时候呢，老师建议你一定要把月份拼出来，因为不同的国家、来自不同的地方，如果你是用 number 数字来表达，会完全不一样。呃呃，美国人他用前面是月，十一月十四号，呃，十一月十号。那呃，英国人十一 slash 十正好是他们前呃是先呃是先日在月，那就会变成。十月了哈，所以呃 ，anyway 会很 confused， 所以老师建议你在 formal letter 一定要 spell the the month and then the date. Okay. 好，我们看下一个题目。If the boss makes some mistakes, how should I let her or him know? Thanks for the question, Mavis. If your boss makes a mistake. It could be a good idea to let them know, but I would do it indirectly. Instead of、uh, correcting your boss, maybe make a suggestion or just uh, indicate uh, your idea. This also depends on your relationship with your boss, how close you are, or how、um, high above your boss, how high, how high your boss is above you in your company's hierarchy. Okay. 各位啊，这啊 ，Mavis， 要、yeah, depends 你跟你的老板的关系，还有你们的职务啊。Uh, Again, 可能比较好就是啊、uh, 给建议，不要这么 direct， 可能会让老板不舒服。Okay, well, Austin, I think it's the time to let our students go. And、uh, before we、uh, close, maybe we can、uh, review something we have learned today. That's a great idea.、Mm -hmm. Okay,、um, we have learned how to make a request and how to respond to a request, especially when employed as a secretary. Lisa, since you have experience as an executive secretary,、uh, and you had experience for so many years in the business world,、uh, do you have any suggestions for students who are working as a secretary now or might be someday? Okay,、uh, my I, my suggestion would be you dress appropriately and neatly to the office and wear a modest amount of makeup if they if you they are female. And pay attention to details because that's important. And of course,、uh, you answer the phone, make an appointment、uh, in a way that we learned today. Com confirm the information you got. Work smartly and keep learning. And join the secretary association. Get more training. Okay, we'd better let you go. Have a nice day and see you back soon. Bye. Bye.